Bell from San Francisco, California. We're live at Oracle Park. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the San Francisco Giants. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Singy, we're going to see a lengthy win streak put to the test. Over the course of a full season, Boog, there are few stretches where a team is clicking offensively, defensively, starting pitching, and bullpen. Right now, this is one of those stretches for this club. So just about set now. So here's the lefty, Sean Manaya. What should we keep an eye on here? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to oh. hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Next Run. offering is in for a strike. Line drive, base hit. And now it's Juan Soto. Three for ten in the series so far. And first offering is fouled off. Bogarts aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now it's Manny Machado with three hits so far in the series, and he's knocked in three runs as well. That one missed. Out to center, Yastrzemski moving under this one. Makes the catch for the out. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Three for nine of the series coming in. Pitch misses there. Ball one. That's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Homered last night, added another hit as well. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Gone! Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. His 33rd homer of the year, it's 3-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Well, the pitcher always wants to miss down if he's going to miss with the breaking ball. Pretty good pitch, but just a really good swing on it. He stayed down, he got through it, and he got rewarded. So two down, Jake Cronenworth getting ready to hit. There's the strike. Two down, nobody on. Off the plate inside, it's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Peterson makes the grab. And that is that. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And on the hill in this one, Seth Lugo. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? 
I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team, it's in and out of his glove. Now it's J.D. Davis. And that one just that misses. Ball. A ball and no strikes. Just nope. missed. Crawford gets his lead at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Kim. One. And it's a double play. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Tyro Estrada stands in now and watches strike one. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here in San Francisco, top of the second. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And the batter now, Ha-Sung Kim. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, he had that base stolen as soon as he broke for second. Such a huge lead. The pitcher's got to find a way to help out his catcher, especially if he doesn't have a great throwing arm. Step off the rubber, shrink that lead somehow, create a little bit more time, or maybe you can prevent that stolen base. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tags and goes to third. And now it's Austin Nola. Two for eight in the series so far. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. The run scores from third, and it's 4 nothing. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well done, drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Back to the top of the lineup, it's Xander Bogarts now. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. There's a strike. Singing, you know, Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother, Jair, signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. Next one off the plate inside. And one and one. When former Red Sox scout Mike Lord visited Aruba for a tryout in the summer of 2009, 16 year old Xander Bogarts was in bed with chicken pox and a fever and mom said you got to stay in bed But she agreed to lift the order for one day thanks to some persuading from Xander's uncle and after an impressive tryout He and his twin brother Jair signed with the Red Sox The pitch Line drive and it goes just foul and what's interesting is Xander wanted to be a teacher when he was growing up, and obviously that did not happen. But what's cool is that his elementary school was renamed after him. Flores on to oh. first. Bogart's retired. Here's Juan Soto. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one is hammered right field. This one's got a chance. And out of here. A towering shot to right. His 28th home run of the season. It's 6-0. For 
pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change. In. Jacob Junis on to pitch here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these back. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. And he's got himself a triple. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Singled and scored his first time. Swing and a miss. Oh, one. As he was out front that time. The next pitch misses, oh. and that's ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ross Stripling up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. Tatis waits. On the ground. Davis jump throw and that is that but they strike for three in the inning two on this two run home run it's now a six nothing ball game this is Padres baseball on the show San Diego back here at Oracle Park and now Jack Peterson the right hander back to work And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Swing and a miss struck him out. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity oh, change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Caught him looking for the K. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Swing and a ball popped up. Bogarts settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Now it's the DH, Matt Carpenter. First offering, misses the mark. Carpenter hitting fifth in today's lineup. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And now two and nothing. And that one is lifted in the air. Peterson drifts towards it. And there's one away. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. Flied out his first time. Ball one, no ball. strikes. This one lifted in the air, left field. Peterson makes the grab. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. One for one with a single so far. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield and... Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Kim, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. He's 0 for 1. Now move to first. And he's back safely. Hey. Junis, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. On the ground to third. They take the force out, and that is that. 
Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Blake Sable. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, this is one of those times oh, when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Swing and a miss. No and it's not again two. Checks his swing. Got? Appeal down to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Fly ball down the line. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And it drops in. In there safely. Wastes no time there. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or short. Now he breaks his bat. Throw over to Cronenworth. Now two away as they get a run across. Now it's J.D. Davis. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Left field. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Austin Nola. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see. And he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And there's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. That one hammered left field. Banks off the wall. Crawford with a relay throw. Throws it away. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but... On the ground, Flores tosses to first. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. The third base is number 13, Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado. And yeah, the first offering is not close. And Manny gets a piece. The pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Sable puts the squeeze on that one two away down. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. In the air right side of the infield. And it stays fair. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 8-1. Throw and just ahead of the tag slides in safely at second. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Now the DH for the Padres, Matt Carpenter. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, wow. not close. He's trying for third. Pitch is low. Throw to third. Save. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. The 2-1.
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the bottom of the inning. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mind. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it hits the base of the wall. And that's a double. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Yastrzemski swings oh, through that strike. one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. What a stop! Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. I love the fact that the pitcher didn't become a spectator on this play. Yeah, nice job by first the first three, baseman three. to dive, get oh. dirty, knock that ball down, and if the pitcher's not there, he's got nobody to flip it to. Excellent job by both those guys. Soto makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here in San Francisco, we go to the top of the fifth, and here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these Padres, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. The throw in. The tag out. <laughs> Next for the Padres, Trent Grisham. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. Swing and a bouncer, Crawford. Whips it to first on the run. And that'll do it. Padres down in order. And it remains an 8-1 to one game. The why to kick the pitch. And strike one to the catcher. All these Giants finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Next one no misses. Ball. Now one and two. One, two. Next pitch misses, no, that's it. That's the and ball. the count is two and two. Two and two. Ah. He goes down looking. Here's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Michael Conforto will climb in. And there's the strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And he deals. And down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Back here at Oracle Park. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Ripped to third and caught. And here is Xander Bogarts. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And that one in the air center field. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Juan Soto now, one for three. 
That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Soto measures six feet two inches, 225 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Yastrzemski drops steps, heads back on it, pulls it in on the run, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning, here's Brandon Crawford. That one ripped. Tatis ranging back, still going back, makes the catch up against the wall. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Davis now at the plate as he oh, swings one. through strike one. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Owen two to Davis. And that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. Out towards left center. Soto gets under it. And there's two away. Here's Jack Peterson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Mike Yastrzemski up here. In the air right field. Tatis drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. Giants leave a couple. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Ross Stripling. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Out towards right center field. Snags it on the run. And a quick out number one. So digging in now for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. And first offering is fouled off. And he pumps it a strike. Oh, and two. Out to short, Crawford. Sends it across oh. the first, two up, two down. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Carpenter, ball the next outside. to hit, takes ball one. That one pulled foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball, he's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Kicks and deals. Next offering oh. is outside. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. And that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. So here's Wade now. That one lifted to left. Fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that rolls into the corner. Into second easily with a leadoff double. So a man aboard, Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. That's in there. That's strike one. Oh and one. Wade leads off second with nobody out. That one to first. That's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys. Is here. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little. That's hard hit on the line. This looks like extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. One run across. Sable coming home. 
Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And here is Michael Conforto. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. No outs. Runner on second. Next offering oh. misses, and that's ball one. Cut on and miss. Struck him out, and now one away. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very Come hittable on, location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Nope. Oh. That misses. And the count one and two. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants oh. fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park. And then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's the third baseman, J.D. Davis. Yeah. And that's through there for a strike. Fall off foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Scott Alexander. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The other way, makes the catch, and there's one gone. At the play, Trent Grisham. Deep drive down the line, foul ball. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Activity in the bullpen. Tyler Rogers up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. That's to third. Slings it across. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Back up the middle and a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Nola stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Kim off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. At the belt and fires. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Not close, and it deflects away. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Kim, around third, he will score, and it's 9-3. Round second, digging for third. The relay throw. The tag, and he's out trying for three. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. But they push across one run, two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Last half of the eighth. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, Tyro Estrada. 
That yeah. one's in there. Going one. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His 12th of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 9-4. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there. Tucked it nicely. Nabil Prismat gets the ball now. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Peterson, the next to hit, takes outside. In the air, left field. Soto gets under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And that's in for a strike. Here's a one-one. And that one wrapped foul. The first pitch, just a tough pitch at the knees on the outside corner for a strike. And then he went in on the next one. So he's got to move the ball in and out from pitch to pitch, up and down, and just try to keep these guys looking all over the place and never lock into one area because he just doesn't have the stuff to beat you that way. Started after it, appealed a third, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. And first offering is fouled off. The line of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 9-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Johnny Brebbia. He last pitched two days ago. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. Brebbia goes six foot one. He features a slider, a four seamer. And he works in a changeup. Line drive. Makes the grab one away. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Soto, batting with one down, takes a strike. On the ground to third. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Machado in okay, now. Takes ball. ball one off the plate. And another ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Just a weak fly ball this time. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And well, welcome back. And here's the catcher, Blake Sable. So the Padres yeah, with a new arm in the mound, Tim yeah. Hill. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Off the plate inside, oh. and it's one and one. One and one. Swing and a pop up. He's got it, and there's two away. The batter will be Michael Conforto. 
Swings and sends a rocket to right. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres take the first three games of this four-game set. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. 9-4, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.